what I have here today, Tuesday, February 21st, 2017. I'll do the uh, time. That's in German, in case you're wondering. Uh, is a Bun Special video. Written and directed, edited by Bun Special, graphics by Spun Special, stunts by Bun Special. This video performed by an amateur. Do not attempt at home. No watches were harmed in the making of this video for entertainment only. What I have here, of course, is a uh, it's this American Watch Co. Waltham. Just got it in from uh, the Feebay or eBay. Oh, very shiny. Someone buffed this up real nice. Uh, it was listed as uh, starts and stops not running, but... Uh, well, I already took a quick look, and when I did this, you know, the second hand really don't want to move, does it? It's like, it's like, damn. That's not good. So, uh, let's open it up. And let's see, maybe the staff is broken. And that would really upset me, because... To get staff for these is difficult, but the staff is good. But it doesn't want to tick. Maybe the roller jewel is missing. See, I'm looking. Well, you really can't see, but when you look at to this jewel here, where the uh, the lever is, you can see, you know, the lever move if the jewel was there. I'm not seeing no movement. What about though? Do I have anything on the mainspring? What about these keys? You can buy all these keys for like 10 bucks on eBay. I'll put the uh, the marker on this one since this one seems to be the American one. Uses these a lot. I have some tension on there. Mm, let's see, let's see. Let's make sure we got all the parts on the inside, though. That's what I could do. Wait, here's a screwdriver. Mm, loosen this screw. Okay. You know, I don't mind that they buffed the crap out of the case, but... Oh, it's a glued-in crystal, too. Damn it, I can see all the glue. Wow. <laughs> I don't care. You know, buffed case don't mean anything to me. Someone must have worked on this then. Wow. You usually don't like to get them when someone else has worked on them because you don't know what these crazy people do. Whoops. Let's see if I can get it out without touching the hands. Oh, there's no dust shield either. Profanity. Put this case on the side. Oh, it's got all the pieces in the inside. I don't know if you can see that. How come I can't get this right? I don't want to focus, but uh, all the pieces are there. Let me see for the roller jewel. Ah, oh, man. Is there a jewel in? What is in there? Mm. I don't have enough light. That's my problem. Let me hold it up to the light. Oh, yeah. Holy crap. There is a roller jewel there. It's out of position, though. Damn. Well, that's good. How'd the roller jewel get out of position? Let me see if we can take this, uh... Take this off, then. Holy crap. I thought I bought a piece of junk. Well, let me see. Uh, I gotta take off... Uh, give me a cap. I like to put this stuff in caps. Otherwise, it's going to get lost. 
Yeah, well, I should get out the movement holder. Where's the tweezers? Then I have to turn around. That screw isn't very long. Yeah, someone screwed around with this. Look how short, you see how short that screw is? It's barely the length of this piece. That's not good. I don't know if I have a longer one. Uh, yeah, I can't find my wide screwdriver, so forgive me. Yeah, I think someone's messed around this be before I got to it. Yeah, see the roller jewel is out of position. That's uh, an example of not being in beat. The roller jewel is somewhere over here when it should be over here in line with the uh, the pivot of the lever. This uh, lever and the uh, you know the center here and the lever of the roller jewel is supposed to be in line with that stuff, but it's not. It's all over here, so it's not going to run. Let's see. I gotta do this quick because it's battery. I gotta get a new battery. This should come right off then. Yeah. How does that look? 3 9. Is that. Yeah, I don't know. Now look at that. It's all like polished or something. Oh, it's all dinged up over here too. So the staff has probably been replaced. Oh well. And look at the way this hairspring isn't even centered. Does this come off easy? Well, that's a pain in the ass. in the neck. That's tight, too. There you go. I should have zoomed in. Yeah, well. Now that's free, so now we can take this out. I'm going to rest this. Yeah, so the roller jewel is supposed to be uh, over here, you know, between the two arms in the middle. But if I flip it over, I think we can pick this up like this. And yeah, the roller jewel is over here. Why is that? Is that loose, that table? Where's my other tweezers? I had two pairs of brass tweezers, but I misplaced one. Let me see. What am I doing now? Let's see if this is loose. Whoops. That's what I was afraid of was going to happen. I don't want to stop. I think this, I don't know. You know, I can't work. I gotta hold this up to my eyes, so you're not gonna see anything for a bit. Let me pick this up so I can look at it closely. I'll tell you the easiest thing to do. I'll tell you the easiest thing to do. I should pull off that 
roller uh, table and position it better. But uh, that's more work. I'm gonna first. I'm gonna do. Come on. Turn this over. I'm gonna take off the uh, hairspray collar. Where's the tools? Tools. Here's something I could use. How filthy is this? It's not too bad. I don't like it. Let me get this out of the way. Let me wipe this. Uh, where's the big hole? Big hole. I have a big hole. I don't have a big hole. Well, there it is. Ah, big hole. Let's see if I can take this off and reposition it. Where is it? Cast spring collet remover. I have to use them as the hand pullers too. Uh, let's see. Um, excuse me. Let me get this out of the way. Ah, damn it! I gotta get out the staking set anyway because I have to push that back in. What a crap! Oh, that's loose. Holy crap. So that's why. That's why it shifted. It wasn't the roller table that's loose. It's the hairspring collet that's loose. Someone must have futzed around with this. Let me look at it. How do you tighten one of these things up? Well, there's... I think it's... Well, it's already... Wow, there's a way to tighten it up. I have to get the staking tool. Oh well, okay, I'm gonna get the staking tool. Gotta pause it or stop it. Okay, uh, we interrupt the uh, video because while I was uh, editing for nudity and drug use, I uh, I was like, what the hell did just happen in that last clip? I wasn't very clear of what uh, what was going on, what I determined, so I'm going to make this little clip and stick it in, and uh, hopefully it'll make everything clear. Uh, what I determined uh, from all my uh, poking around, well basically that the watch was out of beat. And what that is, oh I forgot my pointer, I'll use this as a pointer today. Uh, it wasn't in beat. That's what it came down to. It wasn't in beat because the uh, hairspring had moved. Or the hairspring collet was loose. So when the balance moved, the hairspring didn't and uh, got all discombobulated. So uh, just for, let's see if I can clarify something. In beat, in this particular watch with the uh, the lever, uh, for it to be in beat, well, you got, this is the balance. Let's say the balance is here. This is center of the balance. And this would be the uh, center of the uh, lever. Then the roller jewel would have to be on the uh, imaginary line between these two centers for it to be in beat. And what that does, I don't know, you really can't see it here, so I drew a bigger picture over here, is that the uh, this thing here, foot or tooth of the escape wheel, is up against the jewel on the angle here of the jewel. So as you just start winding it up, it uh, you know pushes the lever and gets the watch running. It's self-starting, as they say. That's the way they designed it. So when it's in beat, that's what it'll do. And there's your roller table and the jewel, whatever. Now my situation on this watch here is uh, it was out of beat because of the loose hairspring collet. So what it was basically is you got the same three items, let's say. And here's your uh, center of the balance staff and the center of the lever. And your my roller jewel, the roller jewel was not in line with this. It was over here someplace. So what that does is uh, 
it makes this uh, since the lever is rotated that way it's locked in a sense I call it locked so over here the tooth of the escape wheel is against the jewel and you wind that up and it's not going to self start because it's locked you have to shake it to get it to run and uh, if it did run it would run poorly or really not at all because the natural location of the roller jewel wants to be all the way over here so that's where it, that's where it would end up in a sense you know balance would want to go over here and if you don't have enough oomph to get it to go the other way it's going to stop there so that's the situation with the uh, with this watch is out of beat because of the uh, hairspray and yeah, we're going to open up anyway so and uh, since I'm making this video whoo -hoo, maybe a month or two after I shot the original ouch it's done well, let's see this is a spoiler alert let's see if I get a key that works never get a key that works let's try this key so this is the watch yeah just uh, spoiler alert let's see if it let me see it start to move yeah, it's not gonna go you dog I gotta clean this and oil it oh it went more come on come on you can do it yeah there you go I didn't even wind it up all the way so it's self starting this has to be cleaned so whatever whatever magic I performed in the following clips worked. So that's the key about the uh, in beat, in beat, and not in beat. Now if you got a uh, a pallet fork thing, it's a different configuration, but it's the same uh, concept. So anyway. Now we're going to return to our regular scheduled programming and uh, you'll see what I what I do. I like to send it an even number. Yeah, I got the staking tool. I remember reading about this. You'd use a uh, let's see if it gets in the camera. I don't know if you can see that, probably out of focus, but the tool is uh, let's say concave on the tip not really focusing on it anyway concave on the tip and you go around the uh, perimeter of the uh, hairspring collet and it squeezes it close so I think this will do the trick so I'm gonna use this tool uh, I bought this take staking tool I think it for like 50 bucks off of eBay that was the starting bid and that's what I got it for because it covered with surface rust as you can tell by looking at the plate and I spent hours scraping off that rust. Just hours. But it's, uh, I was unemployed, so that's all I could really afford. But to tell you, it's the best 50 bucks I spent. Because I got a lot of use out of this thing, even though it's uh, crusty, rusty. So let me see if I can uh, tap on this a little bit. Let's see if I can stay in the light. I'm going to do it with the thing on because it really doesn't move that much. So hopefully I'm not distorting the hairspring because I only have, I have two sizes. Let's see what happens. I'm going to hold this and give it a, a little tap. And what did I do? Probably didn't do anything. And that didn't look like it did anything. I gotta get a bigger tap. I had some wood, but I can't find it. Damn it, what did I do with the big piece of wood? That's upsetting. What can you do? Try, uh, let's try this. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, 
you know, this stinks. I can't find the wood. I used the back end of a hammer. Let's see. Did I do anything? I don't think I'm doing anything. Well, wait. One way to find out. any tighter hmm maybe tighter oh maybe tighter well let's see let's put it on the watch and see what it does where is my uh I'm missing stuff oh I gotta reset up now I think that's I think it's tighter. Let me uh, change setups now. Yeah, this is fantastic. To the uh, magic of editing, I can slip this little piece in there. Or this little snippet of video because after I was done making the video, I was looking it over for nudity and drug use. I noticed I wasn't very clear on uh, exactly what I was doing because you really can't see much. So. I put my graphics department to work and uh, came up that sketch to show you what I'm doing to uh, tighten that hairspring collet. Anyway, this would be like a top view, view AA, right here. Uh, there's the collet in the middle here, and the hairspring goes around. It really goes around the other way, but it uh, doesn't matter. Uh, hairspring collet's got a gap, gap in collet right here. So what I'm doing with my tools, I'm closing this gap in a little bit to make it tighter on the uh, balance staff. So over here it shows, uh, this is the tool, it has the concave in here. Now these come in different diameters. And of course the larger the diameter, the more, you know, the larger the collar can hold, it, it can hold. But you have to be careful though, because you have to pick a diameter you know, large enough to go around the collet, but small enough that you don't touch the hairspring because you don't want to deform the hairspring or knock it down because it, you know, comes out right on the, uh, out of the collet here and you don't want to hit it. So you got to choose your uh, tool properly, which is what I did before I ran the camera. So, uh, what the tool does, uh, yeah, staking tool, and there's the hairspring. What else did I write? Oh, must not touch, you know, the tool and the hairspring, and that's the base of the staking tool. Oh, this is not the scale. So anyway, uh, you, you give the tool a couple of taps or whatever, and you close in the gap. And that's what I did. I closed in the gap. So it would be tighter fit, and uh, it appears to work. And, uh, you know, when I want to run the watch uh, a couple times, I'll see if it holds it. And then I just got to fine-tune it by putting it in beat. And because uh, I'm slipping this in the video someplace, uh, I'm warning you that uh, at the end of this video, there's going to be a loud and long burp. So, you've been warned. I was even surprised myself that uh, I had an eruption as such. But uh, at the end of the video, you know, turn down the volume or be prepared to be amazed. So anyway, back to the regular scheduled programming. Yeah, the battery's probably going to die. So what I have to do is uh, the roller jewel is <clears throat> the roller jewel's over here. And so I got to rest the balance. Really should put this on a movement holder, but I'm lazy. I gotta put the balance. So it's not overbanked. So I'll put the balance like that. 
and then I'm gonna take the uh, it moves everything moves I take this oh, what a pain and this goes here You know, everything freaking moves. I gotta get that Rodico. Wait, this thing isn't even on right. There you go. So something like this, I guess. Yeah, something like that. Now I gotta redo uh, it because I have to get the, I have to push in with the staking tool. Yeah, this <clears throat> last part probably have hum in it because the battery is just about kaput. I don't want to wait for this thing to charge up. So, uh, I had to use the AC adapter. So now I'm going to drive home the uh, hairspring collet, as they say. So, it would be better if this plate was all shiny and new because then you could see it better, but not the way it is today so I lined up the uh, the punch with the uh, so I don't smash the uh, pivot on the ballot staff now hopefully I tightened it enough that it's gonna stay we'll find out well, let me uh, reset up now I'll tell you if you're ever gonna work on watches man you, you gotta get one of these staking sets it's just fantastic all the stuff you can do with these things and it's just great like I said best best 50 bucks I spent fantastic set uh, I did a video on it anyway so you can watch that but now I gotta reset okay let's see if we can finish this thing up what I really should do is reposition the roller drill in the preferred, preferred position that I like but uh, I just want to see if this watch works and then I can save that for another day hopefully uh, the hair spring collet is tight enough if not, oh, then I gotta do repeat the steps all over again. I think I got it pretty much in beat. Yeah, I didn't check to see if it's, uh, I always forget stuff. I didn't see if it was overbanked. I gotta fix that because it's not centered. Yeah, I think I gotta, I, I gotta, I gotta check. So you gotta check the position of the, uh, see the lever is over there, so the jewel has to go over here. Lever's facing that way, so I have to put the jewel so I don't overbank. How come it's not sitting right? There you go. Yeah, the hairspring is not centered. Someone messed with this before I got to it. That's all I can say. I'm going to lift it. 
this up. I press that down. Oh, it looks like I'm off a little bit. I don't know. Well, it's not overbanked. That's what my main concern is. Yeah, someone dinged this. That ticks me off. Well, you know, you can't get the right staff, so... Whatever. Should use a movement holder, but... Uh, too lazy to reach around and get it. <laughs> I don't use finger cuts yet. I'm not using the movement holder. My screwdrivers aren't quite the right size. Then don't watch any of my videos. Because this is going to be the same thing. You know. I'm a hobbyist amateur. That's just the way I roll right now. Let's see. Is it running? I don't know if it's in beat. Oh wait, what am I touching? I'm not touching anything. Let me get the other little screw in. This screw is just too short. It's just a little too short, I think. Could be a little longer. Could be a little longer. Where's the other screwdriver? Yeah, it's a little, uh, it up. If anything, I gotta, uh, oh, look how this thing sticks up pretty high. I've never seen them stick up that high before. have it pretty close indeed if it takes off like that. How much can I wind it? Oh, that's it. I'm not going to try to squeak every last click out of it. That's insane. See, well, it's running. It's not running that good, if you ask me. <laughs> Let me listen to it. I don't know if you can listen to it. Where's the microphone on this camera? the microphone. Maybe you can listen to it. Can I pick it up? I see the speaker, but where's the microphone? I don't know where the microphone is on this camera. You know? Anyway. I listen to it, and it goes tick, tick. It goes tick. Tick, tick, evenly. Oh, well maybe that one runs like crack. Look at that hairspray. It's not even centered. I have to fix that. That's probably why it runs crappy. All the hairspring is like on this side. 
and there's nothing on the other side. Damn. Hey, I gotta fix that. Oh wait, I didn't even see if it went into the regulator. I always do that. Damn it. You know, I used to forget stuff. Yeah, it's not even in the regulator. Profanity. Profanity. You know, I always forget stuff. You should have reminded me to check the regulator. Lift this up, and hopefully it won't go out of beat. Right. Let me get the other eyes. Yeah, look at that. It's not even in. Not even close. Oh, that's because this hairspring's all screwed up. I'm gonna use my greasy finger to press this down. There you go. Maybe it'll run better now. Eh, profanity. Yeah, see, the problem is, I mean, if it was like a, an Elgin, you know, some watch that wasn't screwed around with somebody, you can usually plop the uh, balance cock on there and, and the hair spring will go right into the regulator pins. On some of these watches, they lined everything up so good. They didn't produce crap. Well, it's running better now, you know, looking at the swing of the balance. What am I getting on that? I don't know. Anyway, it runs better now that I put the uh, hairspring in the regulator guide pins. Maybe I'm getting almost 180 out of it. Anyway, maybe if I straighten up that hair spring, it'll run better. And what does it sound like? That's uh, a little off. Yeah, it's not in beat. It's just a little bit off. Well, what the hell? I did it uh, quick, quick and dirty for the video. I'll have to, as they say, fine tune it. And what does the other side look like? And the other side works. Okay, so that's it for this video. Ah, let's see if we can get it back in the case. And I'll have to fine tune it. Well, I'm going to let it run. Let it run the way it is. And see if the. Uh... Oops. And see if the hairspring. Stays where I moved it to. Let me screw this on. Okay, I'll turn it over. And there you go. We'll do one look at the movement and then we'll call it a day. Ah, so there you go. Uh, our Walter Mapleton Tracy. Hairspring call it was uh, uh, loose. Excuse me. Haven't done that in a while. And I tightened it up. Hopefully sufficiently that it will not move again. And now it's running. And I spent enough of my time. I have to eat lunch now. Uh, thank you for your cooperation. I hope you enjoyed the program. Enjoy the rest of your day.